Hey y'all, good morning. So today is Thursday, February the 2nd. Whew, not too much on how I look because, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, let me tell y'all what we gotta do today, okay? When I say we, I mean me and you. So. What? Hold on, wait. Y'all. My appointment is at 12. I thought it was at two all this time. Let me just paint the picture for y'all. It's 8.13, I was about to go to the gym because I still need to, um, I'm going to get my hair done today. Clearly my appointment is just at 12, I just figured that out. But I'm going to get my hair done today. I'm getting a sew in, but I'm getting the same hair that I had in my hair before when I had to sew in, but I'm just, um, Instead of getting a middle part, I'm going to get a side part. But I still have not washed that hair or dried it, which that shouldn't take too long because I could just dry it with a blow dryer. But I need to wash that hair, dry it, wash my hair, dry it. But I also want to relax my edges because do y'all see what's going on? Do y'all see this? It's no reason why I should run my hands through my edges. Well, it came out with it, but <laughs> y'all, it hurt. So I need to relax my edges because... When I go get my hair done, she makes sure my edges is laid, honey. But, you know, by the time I go to the gym and start sweating and all the other stuff, they be bad poofy. So, I need to do that. Um, I wanted to go to Target today. I did want to stop at Sephora. But the fact that my appointment is at 12, that means I need to leave here at 11. 30 let me see something hold on do target sell relaxers because i don't think that my local hair store i need to get a move on it because i really thought i'm so glad i like i just when y'all see me looking at my watch i just got a reminder on my phone i mean on my watch about i don't know if you ever booked with style seat but it'll tell you about you know is the card that's on file a good card to charge or whatever so that's what it sent me. And then I seen the message previous to that. And it said 12 o'clock. And I'm like, 12 o'clock. All this time I thought my appointment was at 2. So anyway. Okay. So it says that Target does have relaxers. So you guys, I don't think it's a good idea for me to go to the gym today. Because that's just going to take up too much time. So change of plans. <laughs> just that quick. I'm about to go to Target. I need to go to Target and... Well, first, I'm going to go to 7-Eleven because I need to get me an organic pressed juice. I've been drinking them daily. And I guess I could still drink my Celsius. I got this hat on because for obvious reasons. <laughs> They'll look at me. Look, they'll probably follow me around the whole time I'm in Target. Okay, well, we're going to go to 7-Eleven first, get the juice. Then we're going to go to Target get that stuff i'm trying to make sure there's nothing else that i need to do because i am really good at forgetting something okay let me break it down in my head event all right so you're gonna go to 7-eleven get the juice go to target get the relaxer come back here you need to go ahead and wash that them tracks dry them wash we'll put the relaxer in your hair my friend told me that being that i'm only doing my edges i should only have to do it for like 10 to 15 minutes on my edges she said it might not even take that long if it start burning so i'm gonna do that wash my hair dry my hair it shouldn't take long for me to do all of those things because washing my hair and dry my hair really don't take that long and then i need to be heading to my appointment at like 11 30. so 9 30 10 30. i got three out let's go i just pulled up to 7-Eleven. I gotta take, turn my car off, I'll be back. Secure the juice. Ah. Uh, we gotta go get gas and then target. Gas and then target. Gas and then target. Gas and then target. 
because I'm on EE. -E. Not like the, oh, you almost on E. You could just go to Target. No, I'm on E, below E. <laughs> oh, look at girl out here running, girl. She out here running in the rain. I know that's right. Okay, that's that motivation that everybody need to have when it comes down to crushing these fitness goals or just goals in general. Because let me tell you, I've been doing so good at the gym, y'all. So good at the gym to the point where at first when I was on the Stairmaster, I was not able to do a 30-minute workout without stopping. It went from me having to stop at the 10-minute mark and the 20-minute mark to me having to stop at the 15-minute mark. And now yesterday was the first day I was able to go through my entire workout and not stop. I don't think I want to go to this. Lord God, please let me make it to the other gas station because that gas station too ghetto right there and they don't let you use your car. You got to come inside. I don't got time for that. Y'all, I'm getting scared because I felt some putt-putt. Baby, I ain't got time not to deck. God, God, sir, please today, no. <laughs> Let me just make it to this gas station. It's literally right around the corner, but if I miss it, okay, let me just not think about it. Ah, I forgot to take my vitamin. <laughs> I'm mad y'all because I've been doing so good with my vitamins I forgot to take it today which I've been able to tell a difference because it's definitely been um making like my like when I wake up or even throughout the day like my stomach hasn't been all bloated and everything like that so but you're supposed to take that on an empty stomach so I always take it first thing in the morning, but I forgot to take it today. But it's okay, Yvette. You've been doing good all week. It's just one day. We're gonna get back on it tomorrow. Why do I look so bright? Okay, I feel a little bit better to the point where if I do run out of gas, one of these God-given men can help me push my car. But I don't think I'm gonna run out. I'm literally pulling up to the gas station, so. I have to watch my surroundings, child. Alright. Let me call my mama. Because I always call my mom at the slightest inconveniences. Like, mom. Mom, I thought my purpose was at 12. I'll be 2 o'clock. I'll be 12. Hello? Hey, girl. Okay, y'all. I'm back home. I wanted to take y'all on Target with me. But me and my mom was talking and I had just called her so I didn't want to just be like, well, I'm gonna call you that. <laughs> but I got the relaxer. I also got a detangling brush from Cantu. I do have one of these already in orange for Kehlani hair, but I like the black one. I also got a shower cap, y'all, for my shower cap look a hot mess. I got some combs and that's it, okay? So I'm about to go ahead and wash the tracks because I'm going to let that sit in some conditioner for a little bit. What? Don't come in here because after you've been smart. Okay, y'all. I got the hair. I washed it and now I'm just letting it sit in this bag and sit in some moisture or conditioner for a bit. Okay, y'all. So I have never <laughs> dealt with a relaxer before. <sighs> well, we just gonna figure it out today, honey. So let's read the instructions. Part hair into four sections. Apply petroleum jelly. Listen, baby, this is all I got. Oh, wait. It say petroleum in this and the ointment. We just gonna do this. I should have put my contacts in, but oh, so I can really get it. Let me put my contacts in. Now. I really, I'm not even gonna be going all the way over there. I feel like I'm just. 
how you just start out and you feel like you're already doing something wrong? Did that. Now mix. Before mixing, put on gloves. Back it up for my face, Lord. Ah! Ooh, ooh. Not me dropping it in the sink. Lord, a little activator came out. Maybe it'll be fine. Like, they should have gave me a bigger bowl or something. Because, like... Maybe I should do it the back way like this. I come back when I'm done. If I don't have any edges, you know why. <laughs> okay, y'all, my hair is washed and dried and I think the edges came out good. It looks much better. Yes. You guys, I know I look crazy right now. First of all, I'm on my way to my damn appointment. I had stopped at Wawa to give me something to eat and to get money out of the ATM to pay her. Y'all, why did I lock my keys in my car? Now I'm just standing out here like a freaking homeless person. Look at my eye. What in the world is that girl spot? I'm waiting on Papa Lock. I'm definitely going to be late. I tried to call her twice. She didn't answer. What is this on my eye? Y'all. I know you like, girl, why is you crying? Y'all, I'm just so frustrated. I found Pop a lot finally came. But when things are out of my control, it really bothers me. <laughs> but um, I'm frustrated because, you know, I put in a request for Pop a lot to come. This was at 11.54 a.m. that I put in that request, right? Why does it look like this? Jesus. So I put in a um, request for Papa Lot to come, right, at 11.54 a.m. So here it is, time just going by, time just going by. So what made me even more frustrated is the fact of that I'm with Geico. Geico have it to where Papa Lot can come get the keys out of your car for free. It's covered under your insurance. However, I didn't pay my insurance because I'm no longer gonna stay with Geico because they have fell and bumped their head on the price that they changed my premium to. But luckily, it hasn't canceled yet. So, I was able to put in a request. It, it let me track where the person was at. Papa Lot was in the same position for nine, I mean, it said that they were nine minutes away. However, it was saying that for like 20 minutes. So then, Papa Lot also give you information on like the person phone number and um, what kind of car to look out for. All of that was blank. So I'm like, okay, well let me call Papa Lot. I call Papa Lot. They said that the person is on the way. How, how, how are you nine minutes away, but you, it's been 20 minutes and you, your position haven't changed, it's showing me. So. They were saying that um, they'll let the person, con they're going to ask the person to contact me. The person never contacted me. I'm sitting here calling the person who's doing my hair. Calling, calling, calling. Mind you, I have been to her several times, y'all. That's what kind of frustrated me because it's like, girl, I'm calling you. Like, why do you? <sighs> anyway. So I'm sitting here calling, calling, calling. I text her at 11 so at 11:54 when I call Papa Lock. I knew immediately I was not going to be able to make my appointment. So I end up. No matter of fact, was it 11:54? It was like 11:40 something that I text her. Matter of fact, I got my phone right here. Let me see when I text her. 11:45. I text her and I said, Hey, such and such. Um, you know my appointment is at 12 o'clock. I lock my keys in the car. I'm at Wawa. I was getting money out of the bank, I mean out of the ATM to give it to you, and I locked my keys in the car. I'm not going to be able to make it by 12. I said 12.30, because I'm thinking I could make it by 12.30. So, she ain't reply. She just replied, after not call, answering the phone, she just replied at 12.19, and was like, it's gonna, this, it'll be a $25 late fee. I'll have to reschedule after 12.30. So instead of replying back, I'm like, hold on, wait, because you treating me just like I'm just like some random girl that's just coming to you for the first time. Like, girl, I've been coming to you for years. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really, me and her really don't communicate via text. It's more so of like, I book on style scene. 
and then when it come down to me at my appointment you know i go to my appointment you know oh hey girl like we chop it up but we really don't communicate via text i don't know if she didn't recognize my number or what but so i was like i'm not about to text her back because that was just so like you see me calling you and then you just gonna text back and say it's a 25 dollar late fee so i call her and i was like hey like I'm so sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it by 1230. They just got here. They got here at like 1220 something. I'm not going to make it by 1230. Say I'm 16 minutes away. She just was like, well, what part of town are you at? And I told her. And she was just like, well, it's going to be a $25 late fee, but just get here when you get here. So now I'm on my way. Yeah, but... The reason why I'm frustrated is because I truly hate when, um, it's 1231. I'm frustrated because it really hate when people move on their own time. When it's like situations like this, because clearly the pop lock person, I don't know if she was on another job or what, but when I had brought up the fact of that it didn't show me her number or nothing, it just showed that she was nine minutes away and it wasn't moving, she didn't say nothing. But So I feel like she wasn't on another job. I feel like she was just taking her time. I don't know. I might just be under pressure. I mean, I might just be, you know, all emotional and thinking that way, but it's just like, come on now. Like, be considerate of when somebody, if, my, if I lock my keys out of the car and it's telling you the location and I'm at Wawa and it's freaking cold outside, I'm sitting here standing outside looking homeless. Everybody walking past me, staring. Anyway. You guys, my hair is done. I know my face look all bare. I really do not like wearing my contacts if I don't have nothing on my face, no lashes or nothing. It just don't look right. But anyway, the, the relaxer, baby, listen. The relaxer relaxed. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm about to go home and figure out what else I need to do and get my... I just... It was just so much going on today that I feel like I really didn't do anything that I needed to do because everything from the start of this vlog been hectic. <laughs> So, I'm about to go home, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Well, in like a second. I got to figure out why my camera keep getting so bright, because it's pissing me off. Hey, y'all. Good morning. So, I just left the gym. I'm filming off of my phone, because I, I left my camera at home, because I didn't think that I was going to be doing, doing anything while I was out here. But I'm over here. I need to go to uh, Sephora. And I want to try the Makeup by Mario foundation. Because I've been using the same foundation for a while now. I don't, like, if you're new here, you might not know that I'm, like, I used to be really, really, really into makeup. And I still do, like, doing my face when I go out and stuff like that. But it's definitely not, like, how it used to be. So. I've been using the same Clinique foundation, which I do like. I think it's the Clinique even better. But I said, it's time for some new makeup. And I seen that Makeup by Mario had a foundation that came out. And I was on TikTok. <laughs> so TikTok make you buy everything. Ooh, Jesus, my ear. Do anybody else AirPods make their ear itch? Lord. I be weak when I do it now. Because every time I do a kill be like, she she don't, she can't she don't know to put her finger in her ear so she just like <laughs> I seen somebody on TikTok use it and I don't like when I do my makeup I mean of course you could tell I have makeup on but I don't like like heavy foundation and I seen this dark skin girl use it like she was about maybe like a little bit darker than me and she used it and she, it looked good girl it looked so good it pretty much like melted into her skin. So I want to try that. I also saw that Replica has a um, foundation, I mean, foundation, a new freak. God dang, why is there so many cars? The mall just opened. Oh, they got going on. Look at, look, let me show y'all. It's literally 1024. Why is all these cars here? What the freak? <laughs> they gotta be having some type of event here or something because there's no way. Like, it's nowhere to park. What? Okay. Um. The, uh, I'm going to 
just have to walk. Nah, let's just do one more round. Well, you know, when you do go around a second time, you'll be finding a plot or whatever. Okay, you guys, I found a park. Sorry for it being so grainy, but I'm in the dark. And y'all know how cameras be sometimes when you're in the dark. But, um, so yeah, I wanted to see about that foundation. I also wanted to kind of try some blush. I never wear blush, you guys. I don't wear blush. But I want to start, you know? 2023 new things like i also i'm gonna try to vlog as much as i can when i'm in there because it's the four that i'll be going to usually it's dead but it'd be like four employees in there and you know sephora's are generally small so they'd be on my and i don't want to be vlogging and talking to the camera and then they'd be like i i think my worst not my worst fear but i'd be getting so much anxiety that somebody gonna say you can't you can't record in here because then, me being me, I'm going to want to battle them and be like, well, why not? Can you show me a rule that says that? When it's not even that serious. So, anyway, I'm going to try, y'all. We're going to try. All right, let's go. Because I don't know what they got going on. However, ooh, 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 not my AirPods. I forgot they was in my lap, Lord. Where my other one at? Hold on, y'all. Wow. The store doesn't open up until 11. Why is the mall open up at 10 and the store open up at 11? Why? Can somebody explain to me why? I'm trying to hold my phone down here so people won't look at me crazy when I'm like this. But when I'm like this, y'all can see my double chin real good. And when like this, you can't really see it. <laughs> y'all, I came in here to go to Sephora. Why do I have this stuff in my hand? Why? So we about to do a quick haul, you guys. I bought some stuff when I was out at the mall. I literally went in there only to go to Sephora. How did I end up with this? I don't know. But we're not going to talk about it, okay? So, I'm going to start with what I got from the mall. And then I'm going to show y'all the things that I purchased from Amazon. Um, matter of fact, one of the things, everything is going to be linked below. Because you know I got y'all. So, first thing first, this is what I already opened yesterday. It came yesterday. Y'all, I have an obsession with phone cases for some reason. So, I bought me a new phone case. It's just something simple. Just nothing special. This is how it looks. It's like a a stone color yeah so and they got the ring on the back so you can prop your phone up which honestly i've been trying to test it out to see how i like it and i really don't like the ring because it, to me it's not really like sturdy sturdy like i'll be trying to prop my phone up and then you know it'll slowly be sliding down but it's all good i seen it on when i was watching one of our yo why is my hands as ashy hold on okay we're back okay so let me start out with what i bought in the mall so i went to h and I had to find me something to wear tonight but i found these jeans from h and they're like some straight leg jeans khaki they are tight as heck do you hear me this is the biggest well this is not the biggest size they had but this was the closest size in my size range because this is a size 10 i would have preferred a 12 however they didn't have a 12 after the 10 the next size was an 18 and that's too big so i got these i was able to get them up button them up i was i tested out sitting down now hopefully you know how when you wear jeans they loosen up a little bit as you start moving around hopefully we do that because baby listen if it stay if it stays tight like this the whole night i might not want to eat anything <laughs> so i got these jeans from h&m to actually go with the outfit i'm wearing tonight so that's the jeans that i'm wearing and then i went to pax no zoomies i went to zoomies and I found this shirt. This says, let's remain positive today. And it's from the brand 999 Club. When I was in there, I said, sir, is the nines supposed to not be even? And he said, yeah, that's how their logo is. But the reason why I got this shirt is because I needed it to match my shoes. So let me show you my shoes that was bought for me. <sighs> There's some Jordans that came out. I have not wore Jordans in so long, y'all. So these are the the five the Jordan fives, and these are the shoes. This is how they look. 
Do y'all like them? They're kind of pulling more orange on camera, but they're not really that orange in person. They're more so like a, like a scarlet red. So yeah, so I figured that would look cute together. Uh-huh, y'all know the vibes. I didn't, and this is not a type of night where I'm going out where I need to wear heels. This is like more of a casual night. I don't like wearing nail, nail I don't like wearing heels anyway. I like to be comfortable. Also, y'all, y'all know if you know me, if you know me, you know how I am about my nails. Y'all look. Ugh, my nail broke yesterday, and I don't know when, where, how, why. I don't know, but my nail broke. And I'm so mad because it's like, what? That looks so ugly. Okay, so that's the outfit that I got. I also went to Bath and Body Works. So I went in there. I saw today that they had five wallflowers for $27. But I couldn't really find five wallflowers that I liked. So I just got one. And then I went on my app. If you guys do not have the Bath... Well, if you, if you like Bath and Body Works. If you don't have their app, I highly recommend getting their app because prior to COVID, Bath and Body Works used to always send um, coupons in the mail or via email. And now they will send it in the mail sometimes. They just started back doing that. But now they have the app to where it's like a rewards program. So anytime you make a purchase, you scan it, you get rewards. But they also load um, offers slash coupons to your app so when i looked up there today i seen that they had it to where i can get a free wallflower refill and they also had i can get 20 percent off my entire purchase but when i went in there I, I didn't i couldn't find five of the wallflower refills so i just got one and i used my free you know coupon so i got the raspberry and whipped vanilla one it smells so good you guys so this is it then i actually got the actual wallflower i saw this you guys i smell my Well, I said like a sun. It's a sun. Can y'all see the details on it? It has like a smiley face. It has a smiley face on it. So I thought that this was cute. And it it lights up. So I'll plug that up in a minute. You probably won't be able to really see it anyway because they light. And then I got a body wash. This isn't for me though. This is for him. <laughs> I also went to this store. It's called Come Together Outfitters. So I don't know if you've ever been to one of those stores. It's more so like a boutique that's how i was and i was like let me just go in here because it, it was in the area well y'all might not be familiar with this mall but in the mall it used to be an american eagle right there and it's not anymore so they turned it to this place called come together outfitters and they had some cute stuff in there so i actually seen two shirts for my son so this one it says about that paper because my 12 year old is definitely at that stage to where he like money. He want to spend money. Yesterday he was complaining, Mom, I ain't got no more money. Can you send me $20? No, I cannot. I already gave you some money. What you do with your money is your business. Okay? He was crying because he was broke. Now, now you see how I feel when you keep asking me for stuff and I don't have it. And then I also got this shirt for him. It's a res it, it's pretty much a resembles a Sesame Street logo. And it says, live your best life. And I thought that this was cute. And it matches some shoes that he have. I bought him some um, white DCs for Christmas that matches perfectly with that. Because they have like an outline of purple and green. So I'm pretty sure he'll be happy about that. And honestly, you guys, you might not be able to tell on screen. But this shirt is really good quality. Like it's not thin or anything. So I like it. And then yeah this is this is not like the design on it is not like where you can just easily peel it off or anything it's a really good design i mean it's a really good yeah material so i got that i also went to sephora so i had to try the makeup by mario foundation that just came out now when i was in there she told me that i told her that my favorite foundation is the NARS sheer glow but she told me they don't make it anymore so i was devastated because i'm like excuse me but then when i looked on the sephora website i still saw it there so i don't know if they just don't make it anymore and they're not they're just trying to get rid of the inventory that they have or what it is but i got this you guys and i actually did get matched in there i don't know if you even can tell because it's been on for a while now 
it's on this cheek right here she just did a light finish but i feel it matches really good with my skin tone so i was kind of nervous because sephora does have it to where if you don't know what foundation you are in a specific brand you can do a shade finder so it'll ask you like what color do you wear in another brand so i put the nars and i'm new caledonia and the nars that matches me perfectly however when i selected new caledonia um it said that there was no foundation in the makeup by mario that matches that exactly but when she matched me it looks good like i'm y'all can't even tell the difference so yeah so i can't wait to do my whole face tonight because baby <laughs> I'm gonna look so cute and but I also wanted to smell the new fragrance that came out by replica it's called on a date and when I looked up the notes in it or what it smells like it said roses and grapes and I'm like roses and grapes what's the what does that smell like um because I don't like the smell of roses so I'm like roses and grapes but I just was interested because I'm like on a date that sound cute but I went in there y'all and I'm not gonna say it stink it doesn't stink but I will say replica their fragrances it's like to me it's like a hit or miss like either you like it or you don't you hate it and they have some very unique fragrances like they have a fragrance called by the fireplace which literally smells like smoke to me it smells like a house fire who wants to walk around smelling like that but i like their jazz club that's the only one that i really liked that i have purchased um but i did get a different one so i'll show y'all in a minute but anyway this is the i don't usually wear blush but i got this blush by benefit cosmetics and this is the name moon that's the name of it the lady told me that this one is really good for dark skin so she put it on my hand and it was really pretty they i got the uh mini though because i'm like listen i don't need the large because i'm not about to be putting blush on like that so i got the mini and then i got another of the charlotte's magic cream i don't know if i mentioned it on here or if i just made a short about it. i know i made a youtube short about it but i don't know if i told y'all this listen 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 i listen i <laughs> i i rock with this moisturizer i love this moisturizer i have very sensitive skin a lot of things do not work out with my skin because it either breaks me out it doesn't really hold moisture it just doesn't be working out for me but when i started using this i saw such a significant change in my skin i would get compliments on my skin like i just love it y'all it's it's so it's moisturizing it's not like greasy or anything it's just moisturizing it gives you a glow and um the only con that i will say about it is that it's expensive so this little one right here costs 30 dollars, and then the next one up is 60 and then they have one that's like 100 and something so i got the mini one because i did purchase it recently and i've been using it and i've seen such a difference in my skin like i do have marks on my skin but most of them are moles but for the most part my skin has been looking good so this is how the mini looks and yeah so i got that i got another one of that one because i'm about to run out my other one so i said let me just go ahead and get it because every time i run out i keep saying like oh i don't want to spend that money on another one so let me just try a different moisturizer to get me by and that moisturizer never works out and then i start seeing i started seeing like a lot of dry marks on my face and then i i picked up the replica but i got the fragrance bubble bath this time i smelled it in store and i got a travel size y'all because replica is expensive like the big bottles is like a hundred and something dollars so i got this travel size it was 35 dollars and yeah it smelled good to me it's like a fresh smell <laughs> it's a fragrance description comforting clean accords whatever that means it's like a fresh smell but it's not like a laundry smell or something it's like it smells good to me so that was from sephora next up is amazon 
it literally was here when i got here y'all and i'm i was like you know how like uh amazon will be saying deliver and you was like i ain't hear nobody ring the doorbell because they never ring the doorbell they just leave it so i was like deliver i didn't like i said i just got home i didn't see anything but when I went out there, he actually hit it on my porch, like behind my porch sign. So I appreciated that because some people don't even care. They leave it right on the steps where anybody can just take it and just see it. So I like when delivery drivers actually care and take the time to put it where it's not so visible. I don't expect y'all to just do the most and try to hide it. But come on now, like don't just leave it there in, in plain sight. So... And I'm pretty sure they saw like nobody was here, like no cars. They they didn't know nobody was here, but no cars. So he hit it for me. He or she, I don't know who it was because, listen, baby, they must have been ninjas because my camera didn't even pick it up. Okay, so I want to start being an iced coffee girl, you know, aesthetics. So I got me a glass sets for my iced coffees everything will be linked below this is how it looks when it first comes out the box and they came this is a set it actually came with but it come with the glasses straws and the tops so these are how the tops look right here so they are wooden tops and these are the glasses i like how it's just not a straight up and down glass it has the curved in top so i thought that was so cute where's the top at boop and then it comes with straws glass straws y'all this is my first time having glass straws i think that they are so cute when i be seeing all the content girls making their drinks so it come with four straws, four cups, or four glasses. These are the straws right here. And it also comes with two cleaning brushes for the um, straws. You just pop it in here. And there you go. And I got me some heart molds, you guys. Because first and foremost is Black History Month. But it's also the month of love. So I wanted to make um I want to make some heart ice cubes, but I also want to make some heart coffee cubes. Because, you know, for to keep the coffee cold, but you don't want your coffee to be watered down. So this is perfect. And I like how they're just not regular hearts. They're like curved and just so cute. Oh, I didn't know it came with all this. It comes. Oh my goodness. Oh, three. It comes with three. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so three. So I can't wait to use. I can't wait to use that. So that's it. That's all I got. Let's go ahead and put our wallflower in. I I usually like switch between um the Febreze plugins and Bath and Body Works. Honestly, Bath and Body Works has more fun scents, but I remember when I first started buying these wallflower plugins and I was like, why is it not twisting in? Like, but the thing about Bath and Body Works <laughs> You know how like theirs is the opposite so like instead of you doing clockwise you have to screw it in going counterclockwise That is so cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, let me back out a little. Okay. So, you guys. Until later. So, I'm about to do my makeup. I'm not going to walk through all of the steps. Only because I plan on doing um, a makeup video soon. 
but being that I am using the makeup by Mario foundation for the first time I do want to give like a first impressions um so I'm gonna do a YouTube short so if you're watching this video that YouTube short should already be up so I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and link it above oh I got me a drink mm-hmm And we're gonna get this thing cracking okay. okay you guys everything is done makeup is done outfit is on i did y'all i did not end up wearing those khaki pants i showed y'all because baby listen they was too tight they was too tight like i would have been uncomfortable and i just was like i'm not trying to be uncomfortable they just it was too much going on but outfit is on I am about to do perfume. You know, I told y'all that I really wanted that on a date one. And the reason why I wanted it, you guys, is because I'm going on a date with someone I met. I'm going to put on replica bubble bath. And I only have a little bit of the Aqua de Joya. Um... I, I did have a big bottle but I used all of that and when I bought it it was like a duo it came with the big bottle and a travel size the travel size literally have a little bit left so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on Ooh, not me spraying my hair y'all this gonna last two seconds with me but one thing about replica their um their perfumes are very potent so yeah i like how that look do y'all like how that look i wish it was like a little bit longer but it's all good okay Whew. okay you guys the back has more designs on it. Can y'all see it? It might not focus. The back has more designs on it though. Oh, I did show y'all the back because I showed y'all. And then I got the shoes on. And then I just got these jeans. So I'm going to try to get a picture. I might not be able to get a full picture. But we're going to get something, baby. Per. Okay, you guys. Me and Babe are about to take shots. But I want to introduce him to you guys. <laughs> I never said when I met him. I met him seven years ago. Seven years, two years, two kids later. Well, seven years quite yet. Seven years and two kids later. I know you're in January 2016. <laughs> okay, it's almost seven years. It'll be seven I'm years in, in March. Uh, seven years in March. March what? March or February. Oh, it was February. So February was. February, <laughs> anyway, we about to take a shot, y'all. Come on. It's Sarah original nastiness. <laughs> How is it more than a shot? And I gotta fill it up to the shot glass. Some of it. Some of it. You probably got club soda in that shit. No, I don't. Why would I pour? How am I gonna pour club soda in a shot glass? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, y'all, we about to head out. So y'all, we was gonna go to this place called Utopia. We arrived there, <laughs> literally 30 minutes away from our house. And they said they only are doing appetizers. And I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since earlier. This morning. So, um. Why is this thing going off like this? But they would say they only was doing appetizers. And the appetizers was calamari. Shrimp. Tacos. Wings. And some other seafood. So, it was literally only two things that he would have been able to eat. Because he's allergic to seafood. So now we're about to go to this place called Phoenix, which I don't really know how it is on Saturday nights, 
because usually Thursday nights are their nights that they be popping. And that's what we're about to do. Like, why are you only serving appetizers? Appetizers. You guys, I'm back home now. Whew. It's freezing out there and I had a nerve to not wear no jacket. I went out there with this short sleeve shirt on. Luckily, my boyfriend gave me his jacket because, baby, listen. It was freezing. I hate the part about taking off my makeup because it just, <laughs> it's like, what the freak? Okay. Let me start the shower so it can be nice and hot when I'm ready to get in it. Take my contacts out. I wear disposable, so I just throw them away. After I'm done. I started, <laughs> this is so random, but I had to wear, I started wearing, I used to wear like the 30 days, of, um, you know how you can have your contacts for, for up to 30 days, but I had to stop wearing that because it felt like in this eye, it felt like like sand was in my eye or something. But it wasn't. It was like little tiny bumps was forming up under my eyelid. And they were telling me that um, it's because like sometimes, you know, when you use the contacts to where you wear them for 30 days, it can create bacteria. So the disposable ones are the best ones to use because you just wear them one time, throw them away. So yeah. So, that's for you guys. I'm going to just take off my makeup in the tube because it'll be easier that way. That way I could just let it run off my face. Let me get my shower cap on. But my makeup held up good, you know, other than my frown lines. But that's always there. I mean, not my frown, my smile lines. But that's always there. But for the most part, nah, I like this foundation. It's cute. Whatever. Good morning. I'm up, even though I don't want to be. I'm still sleepy, y'all. I wanted to make the the iced coffee cubes today. I want to make that. I'm about to take my gut instinct vitamins, the hum vitamins that I was telling you guys about. Um, these are the ones that you take on an empty stomach. I feel like it definitely makes a difference and I have a lot of gut issues. Well, I'm not gonna say a lot, but I do have gut issues. So I wanted to really target that. I was experiencing a lot of bloating, cramping, just gas, you know what I'm saying? And um, especially as I have been getting older, I feel like I have not been able to tolerate the same foods that I was able to tolerate before. These kids. I haven't been able to tolerate the same foods I've been able to tolerate before. So I've been really trying to take um, supplements for that. So this is a probiotic to support. This is a probiotic to support digestion, health, and immunity. Now, y'all, I will say, if you decide to get this, the first day you take it, listen, baby, I was over here, poop, 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 poop. And I was like, this is supposed to be helping me not. So I looked it up and it was saying that when you first take it, like the first, it was saying like the first week or couple, don't, Kalani, don't do that. And go put those back, please. Go put those back. Thank you. She just be abusing her brothers. Um, it, when I looked online, it said that the first couple of days or the first week or so, you may experience more gas because it's like pretty much trying to work get that stuff out of you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we only have two ways that gas can come out of us and that's either down there or up here. So, I'm going to go ahead and take my supplement. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will say the silicones are pretty deep. I don't know if y'all can even tell on camera, but they are deep. So, I'm going to only do one up. Y'all, what does it look like? I'm going to only do one on camera. I mean, I'm going to only do one tray right now because I don't want to waste all of my coffee. I do want to create a YouTube short slash real slash TikTok. Lord Jesus on this. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and fill that. I'm gonna fill these up. I'm using the stock cold brew coffee. What's the best coffee, the iced coffee do you, do you got? Let me tell you because I was trying to figure out how to use my Keurig because I just don't understand like it has a button. Y'all see that? For iced. However, it does not ice nothing. It still came out cold. So I don't understand like why don't y'all just make it so that if you choose iced, that means that the coffee does not come out hot because the Keurig warms up it warms up the water first and then you know the coffee comes out so i don't know maybe that's the only way to get the coffee grinds out i don't know I, listen my kids love coming right in front of me doing Ooh, in front of me doing something hey chip look here here go some more grapes i'm scared because when it come down to pouring stuff mm -mm. Cause I'm bound to oh, listen, baby. I gotta, I gotta do the first one. Oh shit! See, I almost dropped the dang old thing. See, this is why I don't need to be pouring things. It's like I don't have good eye coordination. Oh, oh man. So I decided to pour the coffee in a cup and then pour it that way. That way I can get closer to the silicone. Tr can I? I'm trying to talk about. But that way I can get closer to the silicone. That way I can get closer to the Look girl. Because with the big bottle, I couldn't really do that. You know? Kelani, go somewhere else, please. Look girl, you gonna stop telling me no. Transport this from here to the dead on freeze. Jesus. <sighs> the fact that I'm yawning and it's 10 16. I had to go to the store, y'all. Uh, cause I'ma cook the kids and my boyfriend a breakfast sandwich. I must admit, I cook a bomb breakfast sandwich. Okay, so we're gonna cook it together. I had to go to the store. Ooh. to go to the store and get some ingredients for it it's not like i use anything special but it's just good everybody love it the only person that don't eat it is my son my elijah the 12 year old and that's because he does not um he does not eat eggs for some odd reason <laughs> i don't know why but this time you guys usually I, hold on let me show let me show i'm in your city So usually I cook the sandwich on like nature's own sliced bread. But this time I woke up this morning and a thought popped up in my head. And I said, thought, that's a good idea. So they said cook bagels. Cook it with bagels. Because it made me think of, um, I don't know if y'all remember when Chick-fil-A used to have, it was like the, um, the breaded chicken. So not the grilled chicken, but breaded chicken with egg and cheese on a bagel. And they stopped it after COVID. I went there, I was so upset. And then, re not recently, recently, but recently, like months, you know, maybe a couple of months ago, we had went to Chick-fil-A and my boyfriend was trying to get um, the egg white grilled sandwich. And they went away with that too. And I'm just like, Chick-fil-A, what we doing, baby? Cause I know y'all was making money doing COVID. I was. Maybe it's because of like supplies. That could be the only reason. Cause I'm like, I know y'all over there rolling in the dough. Okay. Hey. 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 Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. Stop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds to it to see slides in both ears. Dice running on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might justify. 
smoking loud, I keep the quality in my shorty bag You know she want a mom when she tattoo that I'm a lover boy, she tell the toys Keep it coming, you a rider Just that roll myself a dick, now my biggest Just that stepping out, I feel like I'm that dick I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep If I catch you not enough, then it's gon' be some Tell the world my secrets if I let you close Feel my feelings Send an action These days no more my age Okay y'all, so the ice cubes are done This is how they look But let me go ahead and clean it up Because I am filming a YouTube short for it It's like they're really dark, but it's cute though. I like it. y'all so i'm gonna put these back in the fridge ooh, ooh, ooh. it is kind of messy but maybe it's because mine's was not um you know i just made it this morning but y'all see how it's like but i made it this morning so it's probably not like a hundred percent frozen but yeah so everybody ate i'm about to go ahead and eat my food these are Ezekiel bread. Um, I want to say it's cinnamon raisin, but I know for sure it has raisin in it. And then I got two boiled eggs I cut in half and three turkey bacon. So I'm going to go ahead and chill and eat this, you guys. Probably watch BMF because I started it and I didn't finish the episode. I was trying to do it yesterday, but I just could not concentrate. So, I'll see you guys. Hey, y'all. Y'all, I'm so tired. I've been cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up. And I'm just cramping. I don't know if anybody else experiences this, but like, I'm not due for that time of the month until like two weeks from now. But I am cramping so bad. And it's like making me so tired. But I've been like um, just organizing. I went through our um, linen closet and been folding clothes, you know, stuff like that. My boyfriend wanted to go to BJ's right quick because like, he need to get something. He don't want to tell me what it is, but he want to get. He just asked me that I want to ride, so I was like, yeah. <laughs> Even though I really didn't feel like it, but he always ride with me whenever I want him to ride somewhere. So I said, I'm just going. I have a taste for some burrito, girl. You being dramatic now. <laughs> I have a taste for some burrito tacos. So 
we're gonna go get that after we go to B. I mean, not BJ's. I met Sam's Club. Y'all, Sam's Club. Kalani, why every time I come up here, she want to start talking? She's she want attention on her so bad. But Sam's Club and BJ's be having. Listen, they be having some hidden gems. So that's what we're on our way to, y'all. I'm on my phone, you guys, so I can't be keep flipping around to me. But oh, we lucked up. We lucked up with the Pampers because usually this is like almost fifty dollars for this big box, but it's on sale for thirty six dollars. And this was the last box, and it was the in the back. So we lucked up. We got some wipes. So now we got the what, girl? <laughs> How much you need? 27 for 12. You think that's worth it? Mm -hmm. I don't even know how much they usually cost. <laughs> how many rolls are going on? Okay. We got one in the car? Yeah. So they can throw them all up. What are you doing? <laughs> Uh-huh, go ahead. I'm putting these in my... No wonder Bounty all stocked up. Bounty stocked up and these go. That's because they way cheaper. It's almost $10 cheaper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look at all these throws. They got it on clearance? Probably because they're Christmas throws. They don't have to, oh yeah, the sports. That's what I want. The sports tops. This one. Yeah. That's for your booty girl. Uh -huh. I got my money. I got a one. <laughs> y'all see my um shower cap i got from target in the beginning of this vlog but you guys vlog y'all i'm listen when i say i am so tired i feel like i feel like i ran a marathon i'm so tired today has drained me baby um uh, i'm about to get in the shower and then i'm gonna call it a night okay this vlog is gonna continue through tomorrow morning, but I have to edit it tomorrow. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> cause it's gotta go up tomorrow. But that's it for today, you guys. I know I keep walking around, moving. I feel like I'm trying to, um, I just been constantly trying to move because I literally was about to sit there like when we were waiting on our food, I was literally sitting there falling asleep like an old person. I did a lot today as far as cleaning, folding, you know, getting things organized. For example, like my our closet. This closet was a mess. So disorganized. And even though I would love for it to be more like aesthetic, like, you know, baskets with labels on it. I ain't got the baskets right now. So I just organized it, fold everything. Towels, washcloths, more towels, more wash. Well, those are like hand towels um pillowcases extra sheets i got a dumbbell down there i got a like a desk that you could use in the bed then we have our bath and body works candles back there and then one candle i got from tj maxx cleaning racks microfiber cloths iron miscellaneous things then cleaning stuff up here and we got a couple of like just you know like things that um you know how like if you might have like like we for example we changed we changed out our shower head but we don't want to get rid of the old shower head so i just threw the you know the boxes up there but i'm about to get in the shower oh, i don't like feeling tired because it's just like i don't know i had my mind to wake up this morning and be pro pro school. So productive with waking up early, going to the gym, everything that I need to do. But all last night, 
I felt so nauseous. And I made it my business to not get out to bed all night because I said, I feel like if I get up, I'm gonna throw up. So I'm just trying to sleep through this. But I had a hard time sleeping because I was so nauseous. I, Y'all, I tried to get on like all fours. I tried to curl up into like fetal position. Nothing was working. But eventually I just slept through it because I don't like throwing up. I hate it. I try anything in my power to not do it. So this morning, I'm like, all right. I laid in bed, edited my um, little YouTube short. So this morning, I said, all right. 10 o'clock, I need to put the food on for dinner. Let me get up, y'all. As soon as I step foot in that bathroom, everything. So, um, I feel a little better now that it has came up. And I took some Tums, um, cause it said it helped with like sour stomach and stuff. So hopefully I feel better, but I apologize for not being able to give you guys some content this morning. I think it was that food, y'all, because that's all that came up. I mean, granted, that was the last thing I ate, so that was going to come up. But my stomach didn't start hurting until after I ate that because I didn't eat nothing else last night. So I'm cooking roast beef tonight, so I need to go ahead and put the roast on. It's 10 o'clock. It takes about eight hours to cook. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and start that, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish the vlog right here because I have to edit it and get it up to you guys today. And that was another thing. I was like, God, why every time I'm trying to be on a schedule, something happens. I'm like, Lord, I don't want to be so sick and nauseous that I can't sit up and edit. I was like, I'm going to just fight through it because, y'all, I'm really determined to upload on my schedule because I'm tired of, like, being, you know, inconsistent. So, I'm glad that even though I don't like the one, I'm glad it came up. But I went ahead and brushed my teeth and mouthwash and all that, but... Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe if you if you care, if, if you feel compelled. And I will see you guys Wednesday. Bye.